my crafty loving friends, Shelly here from Repurpose My Way. Glad you could stop by. So today, I'm gonna take you through a few of my steps that I do to get my Etsy shop uh, projects uh, where I can get them up onto Etsy. So I've been behind, um, not feeling very good, and I've been trying to get stuff built back up in there to sell. So I'm gonna take you along and show you how I transform this little chair and this star tin and this little doll chair into some really cool primitive decor. A lot of the items that you see me use have an affiliate link on Amazon and you can go down there and you can find those items, most of them, down in the description. And also, there is a link to my Etsy shop. So let's go and let's check it out. So we're gonna start out with this little, cute little chair. Um, it only has three legs on it, but it stands really nicely. Uh, so I cleaned it all up, and now I'm giving it a sand to distress the edges. And I go fairly heavy with this, and I go all over so that uh, we can get a nice distress on there and give it a nice primitive look. Then I'm done distressing and wipe it down and clean up my mess. And I take the Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Sealer and give it a spray. I took it downstairs and sprayed it. And now I'm putting on, I'm going to use my E6000 and I'm going to uh, glue down this candle holder. And I'm not going to, I kind of toyed with spraying it black so it all matched, but I don't mind having it a little bit different color. So we're gonna go with, with what it came as. So I put the E6000 on, then some hot glue to help seal it immediately. And then the E6000 will hold it on there nice and strong. A little bit of pressure to make it stay. Now I'm going to take some Spanish moss and I'm going to glue it around the edges of the candle holder. I'm just going to go all the way around with it and just give it that primitive look that I'm looking for. And of course I got to give those little stragglers a little bit of a haircut. Not a lot because I do like it kind of random and crazy but not too crazy. So now I have this small piece of garland, um, uh, burgundy pit berries. And I'm going to take a couple of the sprigs off there and I'm just taking the end of a paintbrush and twisting them up. I find that twisting them kind of makes them look fuller because the berries are closer together. So you don't have to use as many when you uh, add them to a project. So I thought I was going to use two, but actually where I kind of spiraled them, it actually only took one and that worked just fine. So now I'm taking some homespun material and I'm cutting two strips. I have a longer piece, but I want to use up this small piece first. So I glue these two pieces that I tore off together to make a longer one so that I can tie it around and make a nice little bow on the front of this to add a little touch to the top of the chair. Give it a little trim and add the candle and it's all done. All right, project number two is this metal star tin that I got, I believe, at Goodwill. 
and I'm using the Waverly chalk paint it's an off-white color and I'm gonna paint the bottom because that red stuff I don't know what it is but it will not come off I've tried wiping it washing it using different things so I decided to just paint the inside and I was going to do just the very bottom because you're really not going to be able to see the inside once I get done with it. But I decided to, instead of trying to just be careful around the sides and not get them up there, I just did the whole inside. There's a little lip on the top so that helped me guide the paintbrush so it didn't go up over the edge because I do like the color of this little star on the outside. So I used my heat gun to get the first coat dry so that I could move on to the second coat. Again, even though you can't see it, I wanted it nice and covered in case somebody decided to take the stuff out and use it something different for something different. So this is a circle pitberry ring with um, the vine material that it's wrapped in and I had this little lantern that is battery operated. I'm showing you here that I took, I'm going to take my Spanish moss and glue it into the corners because the pit berries are circular. You can see inside and I was trying to make it more covered up. And again add that primitive look. So I did just take that lantern and I stuffed it inside the hole of that of that ring and it seemed to work really well. So I can just set that ring right in there and turn it on and it works great. So once I get the Pitberry ring in there, I'm going to go around again with some of the Spanish moss and fill in the spaces that um, need to be filled in to the star. And again, I'm just taking some of my homespun material and ripping a piece off and just tying a little knot around the little lantern and giving it a trim and then I fray it out just a little bit on the edges and then that one is done. So my next project is this cute little doll chair. It's got hearts on both sides and then one in the middle. And I'm not a huge heart fan for primitives but this one I thought was kind of cute and I actually have that down in the corner you can see I have that star pitberry garland. Um, it's kind of a ring with a star in the middle. So I thought that would look cute over the or around the heart in the middle. So but first I want to give this a paint job. You can't tell in the picture but this is a really it's white but it's a really banged up nasty looking chair it's been around and in storage for a while so I'm using this burgundy uh, latex paint that I added some chalk uh, powdered chalk to it to make it chalk paint so it's super thick um, I'm thinking that only one coat is gonna work for this as I'm painting and uh, I was correct I did touch up a few spots that came through but most of it seem to cover very nicely. Once that's all dry, I take my black flat, my flat black spray paint and my special brush that I use to um, distress when I don't want to sand and I spray some spray paint on the bristles and then kind of dab it off and lightly just go over the edges and wherever I want there to be a little bit of distress. 
I did not want to sand this because of the white underneath and I didn't want I did not want that to come through so we're just going to do it this way and I think it came out really cute And I just keep looking around and looking at it to see where I want to add more or where I've missed. And I add more to it where I need it. All right, and then I take it down and I use my matte uh, sealer and I sealed it all up in underneath the back, the front, all over. So I have this metal uh, heart hook but I'm going to attach to the chair so that I can hook up this uh, pretty little pit berry ring with the star in the middle. So I'm trying to place it so that the star has the heart in the middle of it. And I think I did a pretty good job getting that where I want it. Then I take a little bit of black paint and the screw that I used to screw that in was silver so I wanted that to blend in. So I just took a dab on my finger and put it over the, the head of the screw. So what do you think? Came out really cool, didn't they? I really love them. So they're up on the Etsy shop right now. So if you're interested in purchasing, head right down to the description and click on the Etsy shop link. And also, don't forget to check out my affiliate links on Amazon for some of the items that I used here today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.